I am Michael Boltia, and I welcome you to The Daily Truth. Well, this morning I was reading two different things, and they sort of uh, coincided uh, with each other. Uh, in my daily morning Bible reading, I was reading out of 1 Timothy, chapter 4. Uh, and the first three verses say this. Now, the Spirit expressly says that in latter times some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their own conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. Now, I was reading this as my uh, daily devotional. I, I usually read a few verses and then pray and meditate on them. Uh, and then I turned on my news feed and I saw that a large group of supposed ministers went to Washington, D.C. to bless an abortion mill. Uh, they actually went to Washington, D.C. to pray over a Planned Parenthood site and bless it. And the first thing that popped into my mind instantaneously was these first three verses of 1 Timothy chapter 4. The Spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the faith. And I believe that those who have departed from the faith, those who have had their consciences seared, do believe that they're doing good. They believe that this is wholly acceptable in the sight of God. They believe that this is wholly acceptable to fellow believers. And they don't understand the pushback. They don't understand why anyone would oppose this, because their conscience is seared, is seared as with a hot iron. It, it, it means that it was done away with. They no longer process through the prism of righteousness. They no longer process through the prism of holiness. They no longer process through the prism of, of whether or not something they are doing, something they are saying, something they're participating in is acceptable to God, is pleasing to God. And so this is why you have men of the cloth, for lack of a better term, people who identify as ministers and spiritual leaders going and blessing a place where the primary function is the murder of unborn babies. It's astounding to me, yet it's not surprising. See, nothing of what is happening in the world today should surprise any of us. We ought to have read the Word of God. We ought to have read the Scriptures, and we ought to know what is coming down the pike. In the latter days, the Spirit expressly says that some will depart from the faith, and they will give heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. The Word of God is not pulling any punches here. It doesn't say they, they will lose their way for a while. It doesn't say uh, they'll have a difference of opinion. It doesn't say uh, you can agree to disagree with them. It says they will depart from the faith, and they will give heed to both deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons, speaking lies in hypocrisy, because their conscience has been seared as with a hot iron. The day is here, my friend, and because the day is here, you and I must be vigilant, we must be awake, we must be on guard, and we must know what the Word of God says. This has been The Daily Truth, and if you enjoy these teachings, please give us a thumbs up on YouTube, comment and subscribe to the channel, and Lord willing, we shall return tomorrow with a new teaching. Have a good rest of your day, and God bless.